Good morning, children. This is Shatish Rao from Kerala Public School, Kadma, Jamshedpur. We all are surrounded by positive things, negative things. What should we do? We should always push the negative things, pull the positive things. Push the negative things, pull the positive things. Then life becomes quite easy and enjoyable. So what am I talking about over here? Push and a pull. Push and a pull means I'm talking about a force. So when force is applied on a body, what happens when force is applied on a body? We're seeing that the body will move. When it overcomes all the resistive forces and all, it will definitely move. It moves either in a straight line. If the body moves in a straight line, it is called as linear motion. But if the body is pivoted, what happens if the body is pivoted? Can it perform a linear motion? No, it cannot perform a linear motion. It will move in a rotatory manner. So when it moves in a rotatory manner, the force applied into the perpendicular distance gives me the moment of force. So over here, I know that moment of force now, it depends on two factors, the force applied and the perpendicular distance. So moment of force is equal to force applied into the perpendicular distance. Now, if I tell that force and the perpendicular distance, they are inversely proportional means if one increases, the other has to decrease. This is the most important part of this chapter that force increase if the perpendicular distance increases, the force has to decrease. Now coming to the units. I know that moment of force is equal to force into the perpendicular distance. Force is given by Newton okay, and distance is given by meter. Or in CGS, it is time, centimeter. Now, if I want to have a conversion from the SI unit, what is the relation between the SI unit and the CGS unit? I know that force. Force is Newton. So one Newton is how many dyne? How do I get it? See, I told you physics, please don't learn the things, children. You need to know that, okay, huh, force. Force is what? Mass into acceleration. What is mass? Kg. What is acceleration? Meter per second square. Kg. Kg means if I want 1000. If I want to convert meter to centimeter, 100. So if I want to convert Kg meter per second square to gram centimeter per second square, that will be how much? 10 to the power 3 and 10 to the power 2, that will become 10 to the power 5. Means 1 Newton is 10 to the power 5 dyne. Okay, now coming back, moment of force is force into the perpendicular distance. Newton, 10 to the power 5 dyne. And meter, 10 to the power 2, that gives me 10 to the power 7 dyne centimeter. See, derivations may come, may not come. We are ready with it. See, always it should be that you give a question, I am ready. It should not be that, Are this question, how can I do? No, your basics are there with you children. Then why are you afraid of it? Any question is given, you can answer. Now, I told you about force and perpendicular distance. I told you that they are inversely proportional. Now, let us put into some practical examples, applications of it the handle of the door always we see that the handle of the door is towards the free end why because for opening of the door or the closing of the door what we need to do we need to apply force where at the free end if the perpendicular distance is more i am seeing that the force applied to open a door or close a door is the minimum the steering wheel if i take a steering wheel of a truck it is quite bigger why it is bigger minimum force the distance is more. I'm making it big. So I'm increasing the distance. So reducing the force. Hand flour grinder. Nowadays, we don't use that much. But always you must have seen the hand flour grinder. Okay. The hand flour grinder. In that, we are seeing that the hand flour grinder, the handle will always be at the free end. Why? Perpendicular distance increases. Force would decrease. So this is what it is. It is so simple. 
Now, coming back to, suppose I want to open the bottle. I want to drink some water. I want to open the bottle cap. What I need to do? I need to apply force. Where I need to apply force at two places with two fingers. Okay, what am I doing? I am I'm applying two equal opposite parallel forces, but not acting in the same line. See, my this finger is moving in this way and this is moving in this way. So I'm seeing that two equal opposite parallel forces not acting in the same line. They form a couple. So where is the learning? In the examination also, suppose you forget about couple. Just take out your bottle. Aray, ha, sir has told me that two equal opposite parallel. See, this is going in this way. This is going in this way, two parallel lines. Two equal opposite parallel forces not acting in the same line. They form a couple. This is physics children. Now, you go to the market. Okay. You want to buy some tomatoes. What the person will do? He will take a beam balance. Yes or no? He will take a beam balance. One arm over here, one arm over here. He'll keep one kg weight over there. When he the moment he keeps the 1 kg weight, you are seeing that it is tilted like this. Means anti-clockwise. Yeah, you can just do this along with me. So it would give, give you a better understanding. Anti-clockwise. This has moved up anti-clockwise. Means a couple. How much it has moved down? This also has moved that much up. Couple. Now. He has put this one kg over here. He started to put some tomatoes over here on the other pan. What will happen? You will see that slowly, slowly, slowly it's coming down. Means to counter an anti-clockwise movement, a clockwise movement has to be there. Clear? Now, when will it stop? When it reaches, what is that? Equilibrium. Now, if a weight is not added or a tomato is not subtracted, Will it move? No, it will remain in equilibrium. Means when a number of forces acting on a body produces no change in its state of rest or state of motion, it is said to be in equilibrium. So this equilibrium can be of two types. Static, when a number of forces acting on a bo body doesn't pro produce any change in its state of rest. Static equilibrium. Dynamic. When a number of forces acting on a body doesn't produce any change in a state of motion, a raindrop is always in dynamic equilibrium. There are so many forces acting on this tiny raindrop, but still, are they able to stop it? No, it comes down. Why? Because it is in dynamic equilibrium. Now, what are the conditions required for equilibrium? That the moment of force of all the, it should be zero. That is a condition for resultant of all the forces acting. The algebraic sum of all the forces acting on it should be zero. That is one condition for moment of, uh, what do you say, equilibrium. Now, coming back, <coughs> sorry. This is, suppose the beam balance. Okay, pivoted at the center. If this is 100 centimeter, this has to be 50. This has to be 50. Am I right? Yes. If he's keeping 1 kg over here, 1 kg over here, 50 into 1000, 50 centimeter into 1000 grams, 50 centimeter into 1000 grams, it is balanced. Okay, but you see that sometimes you go to the market there. Some person is selling the tomatoes for 10 rupees. Some is selling for 20 rupees. What must he have done? He must have just shifted it a little bit. Okay. 1000 into 40. Yes. Or 1000 into 30. So this will be 70. 70 into, you just find out how much it comes. 1000 into 30 is equal to 
70 into x. So x value will be 1000 into 30 divided by 70. That will come round about, I think, 420, 29, 30 something. It will be that much. Means he is giving you just 430 or 30, 35 grams for 10 rupees. That is that much only. So this is practical exam. So you need to put the things into practice also, children. Then only you will understand the concepts very clearly. That if it is in the center, 50, 50. Suppose I'm keeping 1,000 grams. Here also 1,000 grams. It is in equilibrium. But if I shift it to maintain that equilibrium, if this is 70, 70 into something must come, but both answers should be the same. So this is what the numericals would be. Okay. Then we come to the next part that is center of gravity. As I told you, center of gravity is what? However, the weight body is kept, the weight of the body is concentrated at one point. So center of gravity of a rectangle, triangle. In the last video, you must have seen that. If I give you triangle, if I give you rectangle, you are very easily, you can tell that ah, rectangle is this, triangle is this. But if the question is a bit twisted, like a tightrope walker always has a long pole in his hand. You must have seen a tightrope tight rope walker. They always have a long pole. Why? To adjust the vertical line. So the center of gravity is adjusted. I gave you some examples in the last video that when you're going up, you bend forward. When you're moving down, you bend back. Why? You're adjusting the center of gravity. A lighter ship is more likely to be overturned. Why? Because the larger wave will come. It will definitely take it up. So this is what is center of gravity. Then there are, again, two very important things. Le uniform linear motion, uniform circular motion. Many children, they make a lot of mistakes in this. What is uniform? Uniform means speed is not changing over here. Okay, when it is linear motion, speed is not changing, velocity is not changing because it is uniform. When velocity doesn't change, will the acceleration change? No, because what is acceleration? V minus U by T, in final velocity minus initial velocity by time. So here the velocity is not changing. So it is an unaccelerated motion. So uniform linear motion would be speed is constant, velocity is constant. It is an unaccelerated motion. But when I put it into a circle, uniform circular motion, when the word uniform is there, speed is not changing. Velocity has to change because in a circular motion, at every point you take, you draw a tangent that will give you a direction. Means the direction keeps on changing. So it has velocity is changing. Velocity is changing means acceleration will also change. Means it is an accelerated motion. This is what you did, you should remember for uniform circular motion and uniform linear motion. Then there are again two very important things: centripetal force, centrifugal force, centri. Petal. Centripetal means an inward force. I told you that positive things inward, negative things outward. Okay, so centripetal, centrifugal. So centripetal means like the planets, they are moving around the sun. There is a force of attraction. Planets are getting attracted towards the sun. So this is only because of the centri petal force so you take a string you have to tie a ball around it you just whirl it around the tension which is required that is so this are the things which you should remember children in this chapter chapter is very easy see in 15 minutes entire chapter how much and what else could be asked in the chapter you tell nothing else linear motion Rotatory motion, moment of force, SI unit, CGS unit, relation between the SI and CGS unit of moment of force. Some practical examples of moment of force, couple, okay, equilibrium, dynamic equilibrium, static equilibrium. What is 
moment of force. Okay, anti-clockwise moment is equal to sum of anti-clockwise is equal to sum of clockwise. Center of gravity, center of gravity of some regular objects. Then it uh, some reasoning questions based on center of gravity, uniform linear motion, uniform circular motion. Then centripetal, centrifugal, and some numericals. So one numerical, though I told you, one more numerical which is very 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 important. That is suppose <coughs> I have taken a meter rule okay a meter rule means 100 centimeter it should always the center of gravity must the weight should always lie at the 50 centimeter if it is a meter rule half meter rule it is 50 centimeter the cent the weight should lie at 25 centimeter so you should be well versed with meter rule and half meter rule suppose it is a meter rule 50 centimeter okay weight is at 50 centimeter i have it is now balancing at the 58 centimeter mark but means the weight is over here but it has shifted to 58 when i have put a weight of suppose 20 gram over here okay 20 gf i have put over on the other side so what happens this has shifted how much 58 minus 50 that is how much 8 8 into the weight that is w how much is remaining from this side 100 minus 58 that is 42 into 20 so w into 8 this is anti clockwise is equal to 42 into 20 you get the answer so this is how see practically you should practice all these children then only see this is just one chapter how much time less than 20 minutes so i tell the children see last minute if you are preparing just read the chapter at least two times entire chapter just close your eyes visualize the entire chapter just tell the chapter as i have been telling see i have done non-stop this is how if this is the way you practice the entire still you have today is this saturday sunday a lot of time is left children 12 chapters one though i think if you are doing with me one chapter though i think is done with <laughs>